farewell to Joaquin Sito. We leave this frog ambassador to find others as we continue our journey to the second part of the research project. We journey through Buenaventura to Farallones de Cali. This national park is roughly the size of Tenerife and stretches from the Pacific lowlands to the Andes mountains. With Herman Ferrero and two park rangers, we visit the current research site. More than 30 rivers originate in this national park. Roughly 540 bird species live here. It's one of the country's most important nature conservation areas. The park is very special in terms of biodiversity. There are very few places that are home to so many species of birds and amphibians with very small ranges. That's why the Western Andes is one of the major biodiversity hotspots in South America, and probably the world, especially for amphibians. Initial field research has found more than 60 species of amphibian living here. For example, the corker poison frog, and Dinobates bombetis. However, a third of the amphibian species found here are endangered. Farming, livestock grazing and logging eat into the edges of the park and are sometimes found deep inside it as well. We're now in an area well inside the park where they've found illegal logging. So the idea of the project is to learn how threats, such as this logging, affect the amphibians and what steps are necessary to minimize the threats and protect the existing amphibian populations. We go deeper into the national park a paradise for bird watchers and frog fans. On steep slopes, hidden between ferns and bromeliads, lives another magnificent poison dart frog. Ophaga leman is a very beautiful frog. Is it endangered by illegal traffic? Yes, this is an endemic species considered critically endangered. It's forbidden in Colombia to traffic with this species, but around this area there have been reports of people selling it. What's the gain for the dealers? Well, the, the local dealers get very little money, but then when they place it on the international market, uh, the dealers get like 30 to 50 times the price they pay here. This sought-after frog lives directly on the park border. That makes it an easy target for poachers. Hermann's team wants to learn how the illegal trade impacts the population of these frogs, which are active during the day. But most frogs are nocturnal, and we want to find them too. 